Hey guys, Aubrey here with another video, another review over the Tough Guy Chewing Tobacco. Now, before I do start out this video, I would like to send a little message out there to my girlfriend who is watching these videos. I don't know why she wants to see me review tobacco, but um, today is her birthday and I would like to say happy birthday, babe. I love you and I uh, hope today turns out special because as I'm recording this, it's like four in the morning. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, enough of that about that. You guys don't want to get into all that mushy stuff. We're gonna get straight into the review. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Tough guy, wintergreen. Now, of course, the cans are all the same. The sticker on top, on the side. Tough guy, big bold letters. Love the black once again. Uh, tough guy, gangster. Looking all cool right there. Behind them are some tobacco leaves and these little lines. Color coordinator, of course. Wintergreen flavor specification right there. And a seal that says premium chewing tobacco fat cut. And fat cut, if you haven't watched any of the other reviews or watched any, you know, Outlaw full review or Mudjug one, fat cut is a wide cut. And the only other wide cut, the only other wide cut to be out there on the market is Grizzly Wide Cut, Grizzly Wide Cut Wintergreen. Um, the only thing that closely uh, resembles Wide Cut would be probably um, Hawken. Hawken, they sell in cans and they chop it up. It's basically the same thing. Although I think Hawken, Hawken is cut up more into like squares, like. It's chopped up more into like squares, sort of. So uh, it's kind of the same, but Hawken is rather different. This is more just like Grizzly Wide Cut. Now, again, color coordinate on the side. The can, of course, it has a sticker here, has the ace on the bottom if you open it because before. That way you get a good look. Before Tough Guy became Tough Guy, they were formerly known as Ace. And this is the wintergreen. Uh, this is the first vanilla I got. I took the sticker off because I really, I really think this design is really, really cool. And I can't wait to see these turn into metal, uh, go into a metal lid. But yeah, that is what the wide cut looks like. If you want to see uh, what the others look like, go to full review. Here on YouTube, he's already, he was the first person to do the entire series, and uh, he did leave a video comment on my past videos saying he would like to see me do the suicide of all of these dips, so I think probably next week I will post that. But anyways, let's go into the pinchability. Fat cut, wide cut, it's made to be made, you know, it, it's made so you could pinch very easily, right there. You know, you, you saw a little bit fall off, but... Pinchability is fantastic. Uh, it holds together great in the lip. Very, I mean, you're going to get a little bit of floaters. It doesn't matter what you have in your lip as far as uh, dip tobacco, chewing tobacco goes. You're going to get a little bit of floaters. Even with chew, you know, one, the longer you keep it in, the saliva breaks it down a little bit. And it's going to get, it's going to get around. But, you know, as far as floaters goes, you're going to get one or two. But it's not going to be stuck in your teeth. It's not going to go around everywhere. It holds together in place just fine. Now, one thing I would like to say before I continue on is that uh, I've made the... Uh, I've said before that a lot of... Uh, some of the flavors taste very artificial. There are no artificial uh, ingredients in here. It's all natural. Uh, I would like to say that it, it just came off artificially. That's that's the way I was... Uh, that's my way of describing it. But there, it's all natural, guys, so don't worry about it. Now, once we get into the smell of this, it does not smell like a Grizzly. It does not smell like a Copenhagen. Um, it's very, it, it smells kind of like pine salt to me, to me. This is my, this is my own opinion. It smells kind of like pine salt. I would try to, I would try to describe it as kind of like that wintergreen uh, alcohol rubbing alcohol but it really doesn't it smells just like the pine salt to me 
It's not abrasive. It's not harsh. It's a very mellow. I can feel it. But, you know, just opening this can, it, it, it's not going to take up a whole room. It's not going to give you a headache unless you're like, your nose is like touching the tobacco and you're, it, you know, sucking it into your brain or something. Very unique. Very, 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 very unique. Stands out. Now, we get into the taste. Once again, very, very unique. Uh, I've had my fair share of wintergreens. wintergreens. Uh, in the past, I've, g I've gone through many uh, wintergreen kicks, two or three of them, where I just crave wintergreen really, really bad. So Now, there is no... There is no comparison between this and Grizzly and Copenhagen. Grizzly and Copenhagen ha are the number one and two sellers of wintergreen flavored tobaccos. And honestly, this is far from it. This is not even on their level. Um, I try. I would try to compare this to Hawken because there is somewhat of a there is somewhat of a sweetness to it. It's not abrasive. It's not. It's not going to give you a burn unless you pack enough of it. You know, if you get a really tight pack and you put it in the lip, uh, you might get a little bit of a burn. But there really isn't. There's just a slight sensation of it. So if you need to back off of Grizzly for a little bit and back off from Copenhagen for a little bit, this would be perfect because it's not going to tear up your shit unless you know you go at it like a monster freak and go through a can in a day. It's not, I would compare it to kind of a candy flavor, almost a Hawken, but it's very, very, uh, I'd put it on a step down from Hawken Wintergreen. It is very nice. Uh, I would, I would, I would highly recommend this to anybody that needs to take a little break from their Grizzly Wintergreens and their Copenhagens and just uh, kind of mellow out a little bit. You do feel, I do feel a little bit of a buzz. I feel a little bit of the nicotine kick, kicking in. Mm. If I spit a lot during these videos, it's because I'm really trying to pull out that flavor and, and give you my, my thoughts on it. But as far as, the, uh, as far as it goes, it's really nice, really mellow. Uh, if, if, you're th if your gums are fucked up and you don't really want to go to pouches, give this a shot because it's, it's not rough whatsoever in, in the lip. There is a little bit of an abrasiveness as far as texture goes, but it's it's really really it's really soft. When I got this, you know, you know, once you go from a from a wintergreen kick to whatever, you know, you kind of try to back away from it, and once you get back into wintergreens, you kind of expect, you know, oh, it's going to be harsh as soon as I put it back in, but then I'm going to get right back into it, and I'm just going to be, you know, it's going to be normal. Uh, I didn't know what to expect from it. I was kind of hoping that it would be like a Hawken. And honestly, it, 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 it's really, really good. I would recommend this uh, for all you wintergreen dippers out there. Go out and give it a shot. As far as the aftertaste goes, it's virtually the same. It's it, The longer it goes, it's like a, it, it gets kind of watered down. As far as durability goes, I think you'd have to pack. I think you, you would need to keep... You would need to put fillers in. I'd say roughly 30 minutes as far as durability goes. Because the flavor tends to lose... The, the flavor doesn't tend to last very long. I know I am spitting and that's probably why the flavor isn't lasting that long. But uh, uh, I don't think it needs more flavor. I think you, you just need to pack a little bit of a filler once the flavor starts going down. But honestly, this is a great wintergreen. I highly recommend it to all you guys out there who love your Grizzly, who love your Copenhagen, who love your uh, Stokers, whatever. This is something great that you could probably throw into your rotation when uh, you just need a break. But anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much been the review. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share. Please share. And uh, I did notice my subscribers have gone up. I was at 50, 55? I lost two subscribers and then gained like five more. I'm at 61 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Please share this video. Please tell everyone out there. Get the word out there about Tough Guy because 
uh, the, the more people that know about it, the faster we can get this on shelves and the faster you can go down to your local gas station or tobacco shop and get a can for yourself and not have to wait five days shipping for it. See you guys next time. Take care. The next review I have to do is over the original, and I will be posting that soon. After that, I will just wait for the vanilla, and the suicide should be up next week. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to put my finger right over the lens here. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. Nope. Uh, cut.